Good morning and welcome. Right, we have four selections for today. Could be a big day for us. Really like a horse in New Toxter. Put him out as a seven points win, Max Bet. So let's kick it off with the Max Bet. In the 232 at New Toxter, go Dante. Seven points win. He's a seven year old. He's been in and out of train, and obviously something's been amiss. But I believe this could be one of the best handicapped horses in England. He's running off a mark of 128. He's completely unexposed. Ollie Murphy is bringing him back all right from over a year. But the stable has had such a solid time of it. They'll have him ready. And uh, he was entered to run a few weeks ago when the meeting was abandoned. So he's clearly fit and ready to go. He's got an extra couple of weeks under his belt. And let's hope God Ante can prove that he is a much better horse than a, a mark of 128. I, I, Sure, connections have a lot higher hopes from than this kind of stuff. So hopefully he can kick it off with a nice weight on his back today for the stylish success he becomes with his best. Right. Then also we're gonna go with in the 1210 at Cheltenham. Dal Amoy. This is a really interesting five-year-old. We tipped him up as a three points each way bet at eight to one this morning. I really like this horse. He fell the last day in Chepstow, but that doesn't tell the story. This horse is a brilliant jumper. He just slipped on land and he kind of just lost his footing on land and just one of those freak falls. He's only a five-year-old. He's by that poor Ma who won the derby. He's out of a mirrorless bread, I think, plenty of chase winners. And Tim Vaughan is no stranger uh, to producing these types to win nice handicaps as well. He won a handicap chase, I think, at the previous meeting with um, the grey horse's name escapes me now. Um, yeah, but this horse definitely has more to come. Nicely weighted today. It's a tough race, but he's a good horse. Um, they got beaten in Chepstow when finishing second the time before, but... I don't know, the way he was ridden that day didn't really suit him. He was kind of handy being tucked back everywhere. They dropped him in a bit the last day. Uh, and that was, seemed to be working lovely until they just slipped up. So not sure how to ride him today. Maybe take their time again and see. He he is scopy enough to go forward. But he's a real big runner. Three points each way at 8-1. to one. That am my fine horse. And then in the 225 at Utox or at Cheltenham as well. Protector at. Look, he's the favourite. He's 13-8. We'll go two points win. Dan Skelton's on fire. Harry Skelton having a big year. The horse going to be primed for today on a, heading on for a Gold Cup. So they're going to want to collect this. This is a great race to win. I do think um, the Irish horse Noble Yates is the clear other danger. But I think Protector has maybe improved enough to get the win in this one. We'll go two points win. And then we'll go in, uh, I think the last race is the big one. The Sky Bet Chase in uh, Doncaster. Galao. He could be just too good for them, lads. He could be too progressive, too well handicapped. He won very well. I tipped him up to win the big one in, in, in Cheltenham the last time. He made a few mistakes and he still stayed on very strong. Done his best work late. Step up and trip might even suit him well. And uh, yeah, I think with a clean round of jumping, he got in under a few in Cheltenham, but with a clean round of jumping today, he might be just a better horse than what's in this race. He will have to give them weight. But I think he can give them weight and a beaten. Galaw, four points win at three to one. That's the four for the day. That's the three fifteen at Doncaster, the big chase, the Skybet handicap chase. Keep following Colbert Sports.